Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I'm sharing with you another Use It Up July project. I've grabbed a few things that were laying on my desk. One of these is a mop-up page that I made when I made the other journal page from the other day. It looked like this, so whenever I mopped up after spraying this side of the page, this is what I ended up with. And then I've got some scraps of paper left over from other projects. This was a page that I had cut up in order to make the inside of a journal cover. This is a cut up piece of a scanned gel print. This is a great way to use those mixed media pages. This was just a random piece that was laying on my desk. And then we've got a dictionary page. So what we're going to start off with is these all three, four pieces, one, two, three, four, need to be distressed. So we're not going to just yell at it and get it upset. <laughs> and make it feel distressed we're going to take some walnut stain and a blending tool and i'm just going to go over the edges if you don't have walnut stain you could use another color a, a dark ink pad you could use a brown marker shoe polish i've had people use it just kind of depends upon what you have but i tend to like the walnut stain ink the best and i'm just going to go around all these pieces really quick like all right, now that I've got all these pieces added a little bit of color to them with the Distress Ink, I'm looking at this trying to see how I want to line them up. And I think maybe something like that. Just kind of layering it on here and then this will go in the middle. So I'm going to glue down this piece. I'm just going to use some Aline's Tacky Glue on the back side. And then I'll put this piece kind of over to the side. I'll glue it down as well. And I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over to my sewing machine and we're gonna add some stitches onto this piece. So let's change camera views. So I'm over here at my sewing machine and what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a zigzag stitch down the side here and then I'm gonna do another zigzag stitch over here on this side and we'll see how it comes out. I'm using a regular sewing machine, regular needle, regular thread, and Hercules is in my lap today. He's made a little cameo. He's not feeling well. He wanted some loving. <laughs> and I don't worry about sewing on paper. I just do it. If you keep your sewing machine clean as you would if you were sewing on uh, fabric, then it would be the same. So don't worry about it. So I've gone down this side here, and now I'm just going to go down this side. All right, so we're back over at the main camera again. So these have been attached together, and you're probably wondering, what are we making? I'm making a belly band, what we call a vertical from top to bottom belly band. And I think I'm going to lay this on top of here, and I've got a garden rose that's a stamped image that I stamped, colored with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, fussy cut out, and applied some Distress Inks around the edge. And I think... It might look good in the center there. So I'm going to glue down this piece. I could have sewn it, uh, but I decided that I didn't want the stitches on top of the piece. If you don't have a sewing machine, you could also use the shabby stitches. You could use a pen and doodle on there. Let's put this like that. I'm not going all the way to the edges because some of this image does go beyond. But I want to put just enough to glue it in place. So now that I've got that piece, I'm gonna set it aside for just a moment. I'm gonna to go to my uh, mop-up paper that I made earlier. I'm gonna fold it in half. And let's decorate this page up just a little bit. All right, so I've got a scrap piece of paper I'm just gonna put underneath. I've got the shabby stitches stamp. This is one of the four designs. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp this across the page, kind of at the top there. It's okay if it's crooked, it's just part of the design. And then I've got one of these phrase stamps. I'll have the link in the description box below. These stamps that I'm using are all from Beeline Design. I'm using the Archival Ink Jet Black. And I think what I'm gonna do is stamp this right about here on the side. So remember who, be who you are. And then I have, this one's called, uh, I think it's called Compose. I'm not positive. 
<laughs> one's called passionate and one's called pose and I, don't, I always forget which one's which but I think that can go right there and it's just a simple element or design that can be added to a journal page so I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this down you could glue it as a tuck spot if you want but I think I'm okay with just going ahead and gluing it all the way down while I'm at it, I'm going to flip this over to the other side, and I have the distressed edges, and I think it would look kind of cute if we put that kind of across the page, like this. That look kind of neat. And then I've got Live Each Moment. It's another Beeline Design stamp. I'm going to put that somewhat in the center. And then I have another Fussy Cut Butterfly. What? Got to make sure I have the right one because that one's got another spot. And I think that's going to go right there. So I'm just going to glue it down. Then I'm going to go to the inside here. I'm going to go ahead and fold this back. And I see where the stamp is coming through. Just a little bit of a shadow. I'm going to use the same distressed ink. Distressed edges. I don't know why I said distressed ink. Distressed edges. And I'm going to stamp right on top of where it is on the other side so it kind of fills that in and then I have a little butterfly image that I'm going to put here like so so that side is done and I'm going to open this back up and over here we're going to glue down our belly band that I made at the beginning so I'm just going to grab my glue here I'm going to go at the top and then again at the bottom and we're going to glue that right about in the center. Press that into place. And then before the video, I took a strip of my gel print that I had. Uh, scraps left over. It's a one inch by about seven inches tall. I've sewn it on both sides. And that's going to go right in here. So now, if we look at this, we have a journal page that's all decorated. It looks like this page was a little bit longer than my page. I'm going to trim it off just a little bit. You don't have to if you don't want to. I'm just going to do it. So here's the front. Here's the inside with a journaling card, tuck spot. We've got decoration over here and then the back page. So I hope you can see other ways using up these scraps in your junk journals. Use stamped images in your junk journals and have fun with it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Check the description box to links to the event on Facebook where if you share a photograph of anything that you've made in July in my Use It Up July event, you'll be entered to win prizes. And you can enter as many projects as you complete. Take a photo, put it up there, and you get an entry for each one of those. And invite your friends as well to the event and tag them inside the event. And you can have your name added even more to win some fabulous prizes. Check the description box for the products that I use as well as my Facebook groups, Friendly Junk Journal People, and by Linda Israel. And know that I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. and Thursdays 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. I hope you'll join us in the live streams. All right, everybody. There's another Use It Up July project. I hope you're enjoying these. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye, everybody.